Hey YouTube, it's Jessica. Um, okay, so right now, first things first, I'm going to start off with a few silly little things like A, I cut and dyed my hair. I'm really not a fan of it. I always do this on a whim, chop my hair off, and then I hate it. So I am going to order some extensions to fix that because I'm really, really sick of it. Also, I'm going to apologize for wearing my glasses because as you can see, um, the anti-reflective coating co like comes off green in the light. Um, and so it looks kind of crazy. But I just got a new prescription um, last weekend which is significantly higher than my old one, so I'm really struggling to see without them. I tried, but I'm just getting headaches or whatever, so you're gonna have to deal with it. All right, so this video is going to be about public washrooms and awkward situations. It's gonna be a quick, short little video, and the main thing I'm gonna talk about is like, okay, it is impossible. Like, I can only imagine dealing with this, like, just being an FTM or a transgender person in general, but Toby is so uncomfortable going in public washrooms. Like, if Toby has to pee when we're out in public, like, he would rather pee his pants and try and cover that up than going to into a public washroom. Like, it drives me nuts. So now, imagine we have a three-year-old who has been, well, he's almost four, and he's been potty trained for about a year now, and he is still in that god-awful phase where, like, he knows we're somewhere, there's a bathroom, he's never been in that bathroom, it's a new bathroom, it's an exciting bathroom, so he has to go in it, he has to try it. And he'll always find a way to pee a little bit just so he can go. But here's the thing. He, uh, before that wasn't an issue because I could just take him in because Toby was like, I'm not going in a public bathroom. So I would be like, sure, whatever. And I could just take Ben into the women's washroom. That was fine because lots of moms. Sorry, my screen went black. Ooh, and very yellow and now orangey. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so um, I would just take him into the women's washroom and that was no big deal. Lots of moms take their sons into the women's washroom, blah, blah, fine done over with. Ben is at the age now where he sees the man picture on the bathroom door and the woman picture on the bathroom door and he will throw a screaming fit if I try and take him into the girl bathroom, not the girl bathroom. And like I try really really hard to make sure that Ben like anything a boy can do a girl can do anything a girl can do a boy can do. I've been very like persistent about that. Ben wanted a Barbie, I bought him a Barbie. Ben wants to watch girl shows, he watches girl shows. He, like, I, he, he wakes up in the morning and he wants to wear a dress, I'll let him wear a dress. I don't give a crap, like, I don't care. Um, kids don't have that concept of, like, it has nothing to do with he's not, I want to be gay because I wear a dress, or I, not I want to be gay, oh my god, that was horrible. You know what I mean. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm gonna have to keep touching my screen so it's not going off, or fix the screensaver or something. Anyway, my point is, is that um, I try to be really, like, you can do whatever you want, Ben. It doesn't matter. Like, mommy's a girl, so I have to take you into the girl's bathroom. Well, then he started this whole, I can go by myself thing, which is, like, disastrous. I really, like, now that we live in Ottawa, I do not want to send my four-year-old son into a men's washroom by himself. Um, the amount of pedophiles that would, you know steal my son or do something bad to him in the bathroom is probably more slim than my imagination <laughs> likes to tell me it is but still I'm not comfortable with that I, that's just my personal preference like no so and Toby refuses to go in the women's or the men's washroom so it's just been this like crazy fiasco um I tried to take him into the family washrooms and um when I suggested it, it was stupid. Like, he's, no, I'm, I'm a boy. I'm going in the boys' bathroom. Like, he's a pretty manly little kid. Holy crap. Okay, just give me two seconds. Um, so, anyway, he, uh, he refused to go. So, finally, I told Toby, like, you're going to have to do something. Just go in the friggin' men's bathroom. If anybody says anything, you won't fight them. Um, and Toby was like, well, I'm just going to try and take him into the family bathroom. Sure enough, Toby's all like, this is for boys and girls, so we can all go together. And Ben's like, yeah, there's a picture of the boy on the wall, so that's all fine now. So now only Toby and Ben are allowed to go in the family washroom. This happened, of course, after I had decided I was going to make this video, so it does. I mean, I guess there was a common, like, logical... Oh, my goodness, I'm struggling today. I apologize. Um logical answer or solution to my big bathroom dilemma but 
Anyway, I just thought I would say that and wanted to hear some stories about you guys struggling with public washrooms. What do you do? Um, I'm going to guess from what I've heard mostly people use like female change rooms, female whatever, but like in an unsupervised kind of atmosphere like you're at the mall and there's a men's and a women's washroom, where do you go? Where do you lean towards? Because, um, yeah, I find that really hard. And then the next quick thing that I'm going to talk about is just like passing in general because obviously that's Toby's fear is that Toby's going to go in a women's washroom and they're going to be like what the hell or Toby's going to go in a men's washroom and they're going to be like what the hell and so Toby the same dilemma of his whole life is where the hell do I fit in so um there's other situations like we'll be on the bus going somewhere and like there's always little kids not little kids but like people in high school who will be sitting on the bus and you can hear them like the blatant like is that a girl or a boy are those boobs and like it's just there's a whole lot of awkwardness or like one of my favorite things is like well let's say we're going shopping like I said well we'll use the mall example we do that a lot since we live in Ottawa since we used to live in a place where there was a mall but not really um so we're always at the mall right and we'll go in one store for instance and we'll be standing up cash and they'll be okay could you help this guy out he he whatever and then We'll go to the next door, and just like that, it's she, these two ladies, these two. So it's just kind of funny and awkward sometimes. I'm not really sure how Toby feels about it. Um, Toby usually just brushes things off like that and doesn't take things too personally, or at least doesn't bother to talk to me about minor stuff like that. So um, I'm going to say it's safe to assume that he just kind of lets it go and hopes that eventually once he's on tea or been on tea for a little longer, that... Um, things will work themselves out and he'll be passing and that'll be fine. Um, I am worried a little bit that it might not be, he might not be passing until he has top surgery, um, depending on what kind of changes testosterone does to his chest. Uh, Toby has a very large chest and binding or not binding, it's usually a pretty obvious hey, this is a girl kind of thing. So yeah, that's my rant about public bathrooms and awkward situations. Tell me about your awkward situations. I'm sure there's a million more that I could think of if I actually tried, but um, that's what I got for now. So bye.